Hello, KDE Plasma 5.17 has just been released and in this small video we will look at some of the things which stands out for me. There's, there's quite a few changes and I'm going to look at the four things that is for me like the most important features for me. This might be for your other ones but that is what stands out for me and in the description of this video in you will find the blog post or to my website where I basically just made a small where I attached the release notes so you can check out all those things in the video they made also so this is they made their official video and then I made one of a normal Linux user with a sysadmin background so it's just to give you something like that also. So yeah, so the first feature I want to look at is the night light. So depending on your thumb, it will be different, but the night color, it basically adapts this white to like a different color every time during, during the day, night especially, that it is easier for your eyes to actually to actually uh, not be so hard in your eyes. So you could have seen my maybe there was a slight change later the evening like midnight or whatever it might be like super yellowish but it's just to give your eyes better more peace <laughs> and that's quite cool. So another option and that is it takes a quite a while to actually turn on is the pixel of the day. So basically what this do is you set up your system and then pixel of the day every day you will get a new system from the things you got. So the first one is just a long black screen and then while we are talking I believe it will change to the background which we want. So the next option which I want to look at is a calculator option and this is where you can just stop in a fraction in your menu. So 7 over 5, 5 and that gives you the decimal of that number. So this is quite cool that you can, I don't know if you can say 8 plus 4. So I don't know if there was in the past possible, but then but the fractions is new for sure, and it's quite cool that you can do a quick calculation just straight from your menu. And the last thing I really want to focus on and look at is the notifications. So basically, in the past, it was a circle with a number on if you have a notification or two. Now you have a little bell, and the bell goes off, you have a no disturb button, you can configure it. So let's quickly do something to have a notification. As you can see there, the notifications things went on. And we are still waiting for our background to change. So as you can see, yes, all the, and you can configure your notifications as you like. And then, so the background haven't changed yet. But I'm sure, it, I hope, I'm sure it will change. So let's just add a monitor. Mm, memory status. Let me move it here. One thing I notice is you can't really move them so nicely anymore. The widgets. I don't, I, I don't know if it's just me. But that is one of the things I notice. I can't really move the widgets so much. Maybe I'm doing something wrong or whatever but that's what I've noticed one of the small things which I'm but set of but let's remove it and you will see you we got a notification and that was the goal and here we have a notification this is pretty simple and easy to understand stuff so yeah that is basically it, I'm still waiting for our wallpaper to change, which is quite funny. So I'm just gonna quickly go to system monitor. 
and yeah so as you can see the system monitor it is about 560 megabytes they say if you have containers and things like that there's an option here also added now because i'm running this in virtualbox it's not here but you can see the process using in containers itself and what container and so on so that's also very very cool so Yes, so that is the things that stand out for me. I'm not sure why the wallpaper haven't changed yet. Let's quickly go and have a look because last time it also was black. But, oh, as you can see, it's like different places. You can even look at the picture of the day. So let's change the national queue graphic. And, yeah, I'm not sure why it's Still not <laughs> working. I love it when I try to make a video and then something doesn't work. Maybe it's my internet. Ah, as you can see, it works like that. So, yes, yeah, my internet connection is not the best. So that's maybe why it takes long. But it's a real video, as you can see. We see how things work out and you can enjoy it. But yeah, I think it's really cool. Thank you for watching. See you later. Goodbye.